now that you have your marks entered for this assignment, you may want to view the marks in uh, different ways. So the first way that you can see these marks and what your students have earned is to click on this graph. You can expand the graph and as you hover over top of each of the students, it will tell you what their most recent mark is and what their current mark is on, in this case, it's only the one assignment. Um, you can also adjust the marks here manually. So simply type in the mark. And if you're thinking that, no, I'd like to use the computerized mark, the pre-selected level for this um, assignment, then you can calculate it again using this little um, circle arrow right there. You can also click here to note uh, their most frequent level, the averages from the last three assessments and which reporting period is there. Some other great things that you can do is you can view their marks in different ways. So you can click here as a summary. So you can see that um, which uh, overall expectation you've been using for this assignment. So you can see how the other ones that are missing are the ones that the student hasn't earned any uh, achievement in, in this category. You can also down click on this download and you can download it to your device. You can also expand, download as an image, and that may be useful for you for printing purposes. I'm going to close that. I can also click through to the next student, and you can see their marks there. So as a summary, on this one, you're going to see their student achievement profile. And it's just a different way of looking at things. So you're able to, if you're using these other conversations or observations or learning skills, you can click up there. You can also view their report card. You can change from a table to a column to lines. So lots of different views there. You can also edit the marks right here. And then again, click on next to see the students, uh, the next students. So you can see here what their report card was. I'm gonna click on X. So that is a good view. And then I'm gonna click on I, and you're gonna be able to see, um, again, a different view. This is more of a table format and what the category weightings are. So a quick view of that. and then how things are calculated. Another way to view the student's marks is to have your students or their um, guardians, parents look in the student or parent portal. So if you would like to have those results shown in the student or parent portal, you can click up here with this little box and then the results will instantly put, put into the student or parent portal. You can unclick or click as many times as you need to, depending on if you want those marks shown or not shown. So it will instantly work. You can have the students go ahead and take a look for a short time, and then you can turn that off as needed. Thanks for listening.